Hello. So you Li Ping Chin, and you're based at the University of Science and Technology of China. So thank you for accepting this interview. Um, can we start with uh, a description of your career path so far? Yeah, I went to University of Science and Technology of China mm -hmm. in 1996, majoring in geochemistry. Mm -hmm. So I graduated from um, college in 2001. Okay. So I decided to come to the United States. At that time, the geochemistry program in China wasn't very robust. So, you know, it's a reasonable decision. So I went to University of Chicago and then, so for my PhD study. Okay. Then, so I started with the, uh, um, you know, igneous rocks. Uh -huh. So, and then um, I took this in cosmic chemistry class uh -huh. with Larry, and the class was just was really good. So it's really talking about everything about the solar system, from nuclear synthesis to, you know, formation, uh, you know, uh, of planet or uh -huh. So that really ignited my like interest in. Um, cosmic chemistry. So, All right. Yeah. So then I started working on meteorites. Oh, so, okay. So and then I working on air meteorites. I am working on a, a short-lived chronometer, half a million tungsten, mm -hmm. uh, to get at the age of air meteorite um, parent body. So and then, so at the same time, I found this new synthetic anomalies. Mm -hmm. So and then. Yeah, I when I graduated from uh, you know University of Chicago, I getting my degree. I came to DTM, so Carnegie Institute okay. for Science. In, okay. Yeah, in Washington. In Washington. Yeah. So and I work with a whole bunch of great great scientists mm -hmm. like Rick Carson, Rick Carson, Colonel Alexander and Larry Nettler and. They're like very great, they're yeah. very helpful. Okay. So I work on a whole bunch of different projects so that I'm getting like very super so busy. And then for my second postdoc, I studied, I decided to do something slightly different. So, okay. so like uh, I, I always, uh, always uh, like curious about something about biology. So, okay. so when the uh, um, opportunity came up from uh, Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, so they have a postdoc position, so I decided to just take it because I have other options. Oh right! But then uh, it's a big, uh, it's kind of a big decision to okay. make. You know, shift the gear from cosmic the cosmic chemistry yes. to to study something low temperature geochemistry. Oh yes, indeed. But like you know, I just want to 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 like expand my my research to to just see you know how I like it. Mm. So you know, mm. I I. And spent two years in Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, and then okay. you know it's uh, I it's, it's the same type of skills, so you know I th I found that you know I like I like it, and you know it's a, it's a good move. Yes. So then that really like expand my collaboration. So all right, I think like career wise, it's it's a, it's a good move. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Important. So yeah. and then when when I was a postdoc there in Berkeley, I. You know, I started to looking for a job in in China. Yes, you wanted to so, go back. Then? Yeah. Yes. So I know, like you know, from the deep of my heart, I know I will return, but like, I didn't really know the timing then. Yeah. But like when the opportunity came up, I just like I had to, you know, see that. Okay. So that's you know, I went back to China in 2012 and then okay. start my own research group there. Okay. So you know that that's the. Yes, but that's been very diverse. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, what what excites you about geochemistry? What what is it that you find so interesting about it? To me, the most exciting part is that you can use like a very small isotope anomalies. Because yes. the anomalies, when we talk about isotope anomalies, is different from the isotope composition of the Earth. Mm -hmm. If we see those in meteorites, a very very small isotope anomalies tell you big things about. How the solar system form. I think that to me is very exciting because, uh, and once you're working on those very old meteorites, they are like uh, as old as the Earth, yes. and then, and you find these anomalies, and then that tells you when the what what's a stellar environment when the solar system form. Mm -hmm. So I think that's that's very exciting. Mm, definitely. Yeah. 
So where, when you think about your future, mm -hmm. where do you see yourself in a few years' time? <laughs> What yeah, do you think is your next step? So you've created your research group in 2012. Uh -huh. In five years, ten years yeah. down the line, where do you see yourself? You know, right now I'm still like building my own lab because okay. the, the process is pretty long. You know, you start from scratch, yes. really. Okay. But, you know, like uh, I can see my, in five years I will have my, my, my lab set up. Okay. It's running properly, and then I have a, a group of students, you know, and right now I'm, I'm working on like a, a group of students. So by that time, I think, I hope some of them will become really good. Yes. And then, you know, like uh, uh, have a very solid research group, has mm. international reputation, and then uh, China had this you know, sample return plan, mm -hmm. you know, like in the near future. I hope like uh, it's, a, it's a good time to yes. do, do cosmic chemistry. Okay. So I'm looking yes. forward to, yeah. to it, really. Yeah. yeah, great. This year, you have been honored uh, with the Hudemans Award from the Euro European Association of Geochemistry. What does that mean to you? Yeah, I get asked a lot of the same really? questions. Yeah. So what do you give as an answer yeah. usually? Yeah. <laughs> The other chips, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, you know, first of all, I felt like, you know, finally you get some recognition. Yes. But like, you know, in, when you're doing like, a, you know, a science, you know, career science, you feel like uh, you get criticized a lot. So from mm -hmm. papers, uh, from your supervisors, and you know, like from people just to think like uh, you can do better. Mm. I think it, sometimes, you know, it's, it's good, you know, you know, it, it help mm. help you to, to think harder, mm -hmm. to think thoroughly. Mm. But like sometimes it can be a little bit depressing because uh, mm, it's tough. Yeah, it's yeah, tough. It's you tough. know, you, you just have to be really strong yeah. there. You just take all this criticism, yeah. criticism. You know, <gasps> so and I definitely it's a it it's a good thing to get a award. Yes. So that kind of show the society recognize you. I know, and I think uh, you know. To me, it's a, it's a stimulus, yes. you know, like it's a for, you know, like for you to to work harder. Yeah, and so future, when yeah, in the way. future. Yeah. So when yeah. you know yeah. when I look at the the previous recipients of the the award, I felt like oh, those are great scientists. You know, for like mm. you know, I really should be below there, but like. Uh, but you do. Uh, but you you do. know, but you it. yeah, I think yeah. it's uh, yeah, it definitely like uh, yes. it'll help. Help you to, to, to build your career. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Definitely. Well, congratulations again. Thank you. <laughs> um, to finish, um, what advice would you give to new students in geochemistry, and maybe uh, specifically to new Chinese students in geochemistry? Yeah, that's a very good question. You know, like uh, I, to be honest with you, I kept giving them advices. So. I mean, I, I think like for me, I had a like rather bumped like the like PhD study because mm -hmm. like, you know, um, from adjust myself from uh, the Chinese, you know, background, the, the training and to the US, to the, mm. to the new thinking. So I really kind of like really tough. That's, there was a so, difficult transition. Uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's it was like uh, yeah, it's not like a very smooth transition. Yeah. It's okay. uh, it's something like a dramatic. Yes. I you know I yes. that that word may not be quite right, but but so but like for my student, I think like you know they they probably won't experience this exactly the same thing. Because yes. I'm like half half, so I I saw like uh, you know like uh, I'm still Chinese. Yeah. Like although I, I you know I spend a lot of time in the US so yes. to get a different so but but the thing like I I want to tell them China, my Chinese student I kept them like um, I'm telling them like they should be really doing what they really like to do okay so if you are not that interested you just want to get great mm. you shouldn't be doing this okay because sometimes in China you know people have the mm. Having the degree becomes more important than yeah. Like so the yeah, yeah. Okay. so definitely that's a problem. Okay. So another advice I want to give them is to be persistent, because like uh, nothing. I mean, 
getting a PhD is not, you know, something you can do like overnight. Yes. It's a long, it's, it's a long, long road. Okay. And then there are lots of problems. I mean, they get frustrated easily. That's, you know, I, I forgot like what I had while well as a graduate student. But yes. like, I felt like a, you should be like, very eager to, to solve the problem, mm. not just like be afraid of it, mm. or just, just like you should definitely face the problem and keep going. That's what you need. Okay. I think that's most important. Okay. Well, thank you. So, thank you so much. Uh -huh.